Next, we'll be taking a look at Ansible Tower's workflow templates, which build on the job templates that we've been working with so far. So briefly to introduce the idea, workflow templates are typically sets of job templates that work in some order. So we can create them just as easily as this. We actually have an example that we'll be referencing instead here. Has most of the same basics that we're familiar with. There's a handy workflow visualizer that can show us, it's a bit of an eye chart here, but that can show us the, the basic flow that we would have. And so there are going to be cases when we're stitching job templates together where we want some things to run concurrently like this. And in other cases, we want more of a decision tree where if this job template succeeds, it moves on to this step. If it fails, it moves on to this step. And so we actually probably better for the video timing to be able to just walk through an example of a workflow template run that we've done and see it that way. So in this case, we are running a PowerShell script and we can actually see the details here on what it did. Looks like that ran okay. Next, it went concurrently toward creating a registry key, which should be pretty familiar if you've been watching the previous videos on exactly what that involves. Also, uh, at the same time, doing an IS install. And so there are some advantages here, right? You could put this all into a single playbook that just had multiple tasks. But one of the great things about working with Ansible Tower and Ansible in general is that we don't necessarily have to predict the future and how others might end up using our playbooks, our best practices, and so forth. Um, they can wire these things together uh, as they see fit for their use cases. Next, we have a deliberately uh, failing job template here just so we sh could show the rollback behavior. And so if this job template had succeeded, it would have moved on to this task, but because it failed, it actually went to this task instead, so actually removing IIS. And if we think about it logically, there may be situations where during any type of a complex app deployment or uh, provisioning use case, we might want to leave things like registered keys in place because they're relatively harmless sometimes, but we might want to remove software if there wasn't an overall successful deployment, something along those lines. And so that's what we've done in this case. And so this was just a quick view of workflow job templates in Ansible Tower.